Welcome to another episode of I'm Dying to Tell You. Um, I'm going to actually find out more about where I am in my illness. Uh, I'm both excited and a little bit nervous. That's coming up next week. Um, and something's happened where I'm remembering a lot of old stories, and and I hope that you'll find them helpful. Uh, today, In today's episode, I want to talk to you about uh, what I'm calling aggressive meditation, aggressive meditation. Uh, and if you haven't noticed, that's a little bit contrary and contradictory, aggressive meditation. And I'm going to tell you a story about my mom and dad who both passed away and I miss them. I love them both. And, uh, and uh, I hope they'll be okay with this to make a point. Uh, because I know a lot of you have parents who bicker. And when they bicker and they're older and you feel like you're in the middle of it, it can be a little bit stressful. And so uh, there were times when uh, my parents would visit me. They lived in the East Coast. I'm in Los Angeles. And I would pick them up at the airport, at Los Angeles airport, and I'd be driving them back to my home. And they'd start bickering about things. And and I'm thinking to myself, I feel like just taking them back to the airport and saying goodbye, go on, uh, fly home. And then I thought, you know, I don't see them that often, but it was kind of driving me crazy. And 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 uh, and then I I came upon this realization that I'm calling aggressive meditation. And Instead of thinking about, well, you know, I'm upset, I'm frustrated, here they go bickering, and I want to take them back to the airport, I said to myself, I hate the way I feel. And I calmed down. I smiled. I said, ooh, this is a, this is a different way to approach it. I don't hate them. I just hate the way I feel when they bicker. And I said it a couple more times. And what happened is I calmed down. And I calmed down so much that my parents stopped bickering. And, and maybe they were waiting for me to be there as the mediator, like, well, what's going on? And by uh, meditating, uh, I hate the way I feel, I realized I didn't have to do anything about it. I didn't have to get angry at them. I didn't have to get frustrated. Uh, I just acknowledged, I hate the way I feel, and it dissipated. It dissipated, you know, within less than a minute. And and it was enough to stop them from bickering. And they say, what's going on? And then I could say this honestly. I said, I was just thinking that I don't get to see you that often. You know, and you know, I probably see you three times a year for four days. And that's not much. And I was just thinking... Uh, you know, I'm glad I get to see you. They didn't know what the heck to do with it, but I was happy as a clam. So here's the advice to you. If things upset you, you know, someone acts a certain way, someone cuts you off in traffic, someone snaps at you at the office, someone snaps at you at home, instead of feeling you need to react, or retaliate, or show them they can't treat you that way. If you pause, uh, and then just say to yourself, I hate the way I feel. You don't have to do anything. And what's the way you're feeling? Well, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling upset, I'm feeling disappointed. But just acknowledging, I hate the way I feel, it's going to dissipate. So give that a try, because you might realize it's 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 not so much events in our life uh, that stress us. What stresses us is that events trigger a feeling that we can't stand, and we don't know how to make the feeling better. And, and we start chasing after events outside, and that usually doesn't work. But if we can just acknowledge something, I hate the way I feel, 
uh, there's a good chance that it will dissipate and go away. So give that one a try and see how that helps you out. And thanks again for tuning in to this series, and I hope they're helping you and you're able to share them with other people you think they may help. Well, until next time, take good care.